alright readers. We've had a bit of... We've had the bloody intro. We've had him standing on the old rock. We've had some freestyling. Time to get into some fucking deep shit. You ready? It's not always a smooth landing. If you're pushing Mother Nature's limits, expect yours to be pushed back. Great. But you keep going, as your obsession will remind you. Say what he does, fucking love a flip, Danny, Liam Whaley. Oh. Alright, okay, so gym bullshit over, now let's just get into the fucking, the thick of it, innit? Let's get into that, it's like a cake. We've seen the old icing, and we've taken a big slice, and we can fucking see it, how good it is in the middle, and now we're just about to eat it. Don't put that bit in, that was a bit weird. Here we go. Start from the start. I need to dance. That is so big. So, for all you fucking idiots at home, yeah, what you've got to be watching when someone's doing some freestyle is the speed that they go into it with Finish the trick and the speed that they go out of it. Yeah, so as you can see, look how much fucking water he's put up. Basically, tidal wave. Like, people on the other side of that fucking lake need to be preparing for a natural disaster, yeah? Here he goes. Do you see what I mean? There's a serious amount of pace in that fucking trick. I could literally do this all day. Thank God YouTube has a backwards five second thing. So good. Oh, yeah. Why don't desktops have fucking videos as the background? Why do we just have to have a picture? I would love this. I really want this as my background, but I can't. Fuck's sake. Anyway, yeah, all right, next tricks, what we got? This is basically him doing everything ridiculously powered section. Now he definitely didn't ride out of that, did he? Hang on, let me fucking pause it in the right bit. I'm gonna use my YouTube expertise to pause it. Chance of him riding out of that, out of 10. <laughs> One. But it's all right, we enjoyed it anyway, Liam. No worries. Oh, with the grab as well. Oh. Oh, yeah. The old double grab mode was that. Hang on, let me just check, otherwise you lot are gonna think I'm a fucking idiot. Yeah. Oh man, so good. So, from memory, Bebe had just started doing them double grab mobs. So Liam must have been like, fuck, that bloody Brazilian's got me again. I'm gonna have to step it up. So yeah, good on Bebe. But this isn't about Bebe, we'll do that in another fucking episode. This is about Liam and his wondrous hair, those blonde locks. There's the old front blind mode again. Yes, please. So large. That looks like a sick spot, doesn't it? Now, particularly like this, like, he doesn't go full into the Rayleigh, does he? He, like, really restricts himself there. And I think that shows how fucking powered he is. Because if he went full Rayleigh, he would just end up doing a humongous Rayleigh. <laughs> Where his board's basically touching the fucking lines because he's that lit. But he's had, to, he's had to keep it a bit more compact to deal with the old power, hasn't he? He's got it under control because he's Liam Whaley. Oh, yes. Such a smooth landing. <sighs> Thank you, Liam, for this fucking foiler in the way. Shout out to all the foilers out there. Cheers for that. Fuck's sake. What is he on as well? Like a windsurf board. Just fuck off.
That is so big. That is so big. Christ. But if he's not landing that, that is just a horrible headache for days. Do you reckon just before he's like, Oi Bass, get the paracetamol ready. I'm about to pull something fucking large. All right, Liam, what about, I only got ibuprofen, is that all right? Yes, I'll enjoy the anti-inflammatory fucking things in it as well. Fantastic. <laughs> Not sure whether that'll be good, Jason. Ask me whether you put that in. The board high fives the water and the kite scoops the wind. You are instantly reminded that you're on the right path. Bless Liam. In it. I reckon in a few years he's going to be looking back at this and thinking, Christ, I was good at kiteboarding back then, or I am probably now as well, probably even way better. But he's also going to be thinking, Ooh, not sure about that poetry I was doing back back in the day in Seeking Cloud Nine, brackets Greece. No, it is sort of nice, but it would have maybe been just as nice if he didn't do the poetry. Mm. Thing is, everyone's trying to be fucking so deep at the moment, isn't they? Fucking Instagram's fault. Everyone's like, oh, I want to put up this topless pic, but if I do, I'm just going to look like a shallow twat in it. So I've got to fucking think of something that will counterbalance that. I've got to come up with some fucking philosophical gold right now, but not stuff that's going to age horribly. Something fucking timeless. Yeah, so I'm going to go on a fucking philosophical website and copy-paste that shit. So poor old Liam's got a bit sucked into all that malarkey. But do you know what? It's all right. I'm not too phased by it. I'm not going to be writing it down and figuring out the meaning behind the words either. <laughs> Don't think there was too... It wasn't too cryptic, was it? I think I got it. But yeah, he bloody loves the poetry though. He's done it in his new F1 one. See, that fucking name. Yeah, he loves poetry and we love him. Big fans of Liam, me and Jason. I think everyone loves a bit of Liam Wahaley. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, good on him for the... No, let's not. We're just going to keep it to this video, aren't we, Jason? I'm not sure how good this has been. Jason, I haven't really said anything, have I? I've just we been constantly looking for something, making weird noises when he does. Not quite knowing what it doubles. is. Here he goes again with the poetry. There's something within, driving us to find it. Let me take you on a journey into the unknown. Do you reckon he always goes to big scenic rocks to look at maps? <laughs> looking well pensive, isn't he? You lot probably don't even know what pensive is, do you? I should probably give the audience a bit more credit. I don't think they are as stupid as we think, Jason. I think they're actually quite onto it sometimes. Yeah. Got to stay one step Let ahead of them, though, haven't we? So the put them down every now and again. Keep them in their place. Um... That's probably about it. So yeah, we're going to be doing this quite a bit. We're going to be doing it fucking loads, actually. So uh, get excited for that. And what else? Oh yeah, so as it goes on, we're hoping that people are going to get involved. People that actually know what they're talking about. Not that we don't know. But people that know more. No, not more. People that... Just other people's opinions, that's it, yeah. Other people's opinions, we're going to be getting them in and shit. And there. So what's going to happen is I'm going to fucking message them on fucking Instagram. Or Jason will, because he deals with all that shit. And then we're going to say, what do you think of this? Blah, blah. And then they're going to be like, oh, I fucking think it's shit. Or I think it's, oh, that's bloody great. And here is why. And so forth. Anyway, that's the fucking thoughts that's probably enough for today thank you everyone for watching 
and hope you enjoyed the moving green screen because we're fucking innovative as fuck here on YouTube so yeah anything else Jason any other housekeeping innit <laughs> Mm. We need to end on something philosophical, maybe, Chase. Do do your best whenever you can. Sometimes you can't, and it's fine. No worries there. Never give up. Yeah, never give up, ever. Even if it makes total sense to give up. Still don't. Sometimes it is good to give up, Jason, though, isn't it? I think that's sort of a skill of mine. Yeah, because if it's just not fucking good, you, why carry on? If it's just sapping all your vibe and shit, you just should give up. Yeah, it's actually good, real good to give up. Yeah, or well, don't, maybe that could be our, maybe that could be our fucking secret, isn't it? Secret to success. In the autobiography will fucking reveal that shit. But not, don't put that in now, because then they'll know. Okay. Goodbye, everyone. The green screen's had enough, <laughs> and so have I. So, bye. see you next time.